Well, I love being at campus party. Um, it's, it's very gratifying, actually, because I've been arguing for this kind of self-organization um, and collective activity for many, many years. It's, um, it's different than what I thought. It's noisier, and it's more chaotic. And, uh, but I like that. It's, um, but it's, it's not the typical event that I speak at where you have a big theater and a bunch of people are very quiet and they sit there and they clap at the end. Well, today I argued for new models for global problem solving. That the institutions that we have uh, today for solving problems in the world, and there are many, many problems from hunger to uh, infectious disease, war, climate change, uh, economic malaise, oppression, you name it. And our institutions came out of the Second World War, the Bretton Woods, when we created the UN, the World Bank, the, G the GATT, the G8, the IMF, the G20, and so on. And these institutions are necessary, but increasingly they're, uh, increasingly they're insufficient for solving problems in the world. Meanwhile, we have tens of millions of people now using the internet to organize in multi-stakeholder networks that are becoming material in the world. And they're on every issue imaginable. So I've got a big project underway now to understand these new networks and to figure out a language and a way of talking about them and to help understand how they can be more effective in bringing about change in the world. So today I introduced this whole idea. Well, I, I was very encouraged by the response of the Camposeros. Um, first of all, they all stayed there. <laughs> and uh, at the end, I've got a very long sort of um, ovation from people, and that was very gratifying. There were also some very interesting questions as well. But I can tell when I'm with an audience, just their body language, and whether or not they're really engaged and listening and trying to understand. And it was a great group. Mm -hmm. Well, campus partyism is an example of these new self-organizing uh, multi-stakeholder networks that are addressing various challenges in the world from, you know, from uh, entrepreneurship and innovation right through to social innovation and solving big problems. And, um, well, I'd like to see campus parties in every country in the world, honestly, because I think it's an uh, engine fueling a lot of great entrepreneurial and, and, uh, and, and technological uh, action in a, in a society which is central to wealth creation, social development, and, and all kinds of things. But overall, the global crisis is calling forth a new generation of leader, that we don't have to figure out how will the internet and communities and self-organization being extended to the world. It's just happening. And people all around the world now can taste the opportunity and also the need to get engaged. Uh, because, you know, this is a new age of participation. You can not only read the encyclopedia, you can create one. You can not only use software, you can build an operating system. You can not only watch the evening news, you can create a television station. So this is a time of, to me, of great uh, opportunity in the world.